Pantone recently released its 2020 color of the year, and it's a good one. Are you as excited as I am? Today I'll be talking all about this amazing color and a few ways you can try to incorporate it into your home. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Corey, your local real estate expert with Monmouth County Dream Homes powered by Remax Central located right here in Marlboro Township. As your local Monmouth County realtor, I often get asked by clients to help them stage and prepare their home for sale. I always tell my clients it's very important that you keep your home somewhat neutral, but that doesn't mean you can't add some exciting color throughout your house. If you are thinking about putting your home on the market or even just sprucing it up for your own personal use, why not start incorporating the Pantone 2020 color of the year? At the end of this video, I'll give you access to a list of a few home decor pieces in the 2020 Pantone color of the year. So stick around. So what exactly is the Pantone color of the year for 2020? Pantone has announced that its 2020 color of the year is classic blue. One of the easiest and most cost-effective ways to update your home is simply by painting. And because paint is such a non-permanent thing, it's very easy to stay up to date with color trends in your home. I am a huge fan of the color blue and especially this classic blue. Do not run out and buy every piece you can possibly find in classic blue. It'll be overkill. You don't really want to feel like you're living in a blueberry, do you? Here are a few ideas you may want to think about if you want to add a touch of the 2020 color classic blue throughout your home. Number one, let's start with your front door. Now you can be super daring and actually paint your front door a warm, welcoming classic blue. But if you're not willing to make such a drastic change, consider a fun, welcoming front doormat. Add a few flower pots accented in blue as well for a warm and welcoming feel. Number two, in the family room. This is a fantastic space to incorporate a splash of color. You can add as much or as little of an accent color as you'd like. One place I would definitely start is an area rug and some throw pillows. I personally am obsessed with throw pillows. How about some wall art or candles? There is just so much you can do if you want to add this fun new color into your living room. Number three, in the kitchen. Think about the fun you can have adding color to your kitchen. What about some new colorful cookware or a bold window treatment? You can display linens and even add a fun area rug. The list for the kitchen goes on and on. Number four, your bedroom. Who doesn't love having to go out and buy all new bedding and linens? The bedroom is the perfect place to be a little bold. Remember I mentioned accenting a wall? If changing your bedding is just a bit too much, maybe you could just use a throw blanket or a few accent pillows. Number five, the bathroom. Most bathrooms are pretty neutral, so it leaves you open to almost anything. Add some cute hand towels or colored liquid soap. You can search for wall art, a decorative shower curtain, or even a floor mat. And finally, number six, the outdoors. I absolutely love shopping for and decorating the outdoors. I think shopping for the decor for the front and back of your house is the most fun of all. If you're lucky, you'll have a great store near you that changes up the outside decor depending on the season. If you have seating outdoors, they make adorable pillows. How about some serving pieces in classic blue? As mentioned at the beginning of this video, I've compiled a list of a few home decor items you could purchase in classic blue. So don't forget to check out the description box below. As always, thank you so much for joining me this week. My name is Corey, your local realtor right here in Monmouth County, and I will see you next Monday when I talk about something else that has to do with real estate or Monmouth County. Bye-bye. <music>